Hello! So it is the second day of anti-bullying week. I'm participating in the anti-bullying readathon. There's links and stuff below. It's an opportunity for people to read books about bullying and raise awareness about bullying. I think it's a really great idea, so I'm really like trying to participate as much as I can. I don't think I'm going to make a video for every book that I read this week because that could be quite a lot. I don't know yet, but I wanted to talk about the ones that I have read. I've mentioned it in a few videos before, and it's a reread. It's Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Leverfan. Reading back through it, there's quite a bit of stuff which I missed the first time round, and I wanted to talk about it and how much I enjoyed it and my thoughts on the book. I know I've talked about it a lot before, but I really wanted to talk about it again and give it its own special, unique video just to itself. Aren't you lucky? So very briefly, this book is a collaboration between John Green and David Leverthan. I was thinking the other day about my top author for every five year period of my life, because I'm 25, so I've had five groups of five years. I think John Green is my favourite author of this, or of the last five years. I don't want to get too gushy about it, I just think he really taps into uh, teenage mentality. I associate a lot with his uh, characters, you know, there's a lot of, I think, shared experiences there. But in a way, they're having the teenagers that I always wanted to have, and I didn't really get to have until uh, university, really. David Leverthand, who also wrote this book, I don't know much about. He collaborated with someone else to write Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. I think that's what it's called, which I've seen the film or I haven't read the book. I didn't even know it was based on the book. So anyway, very briefly, the plot of Will Grayson, Will Grayson is that it's the story of two people, both called Will Grayson, both teenagers living in America. Every odd numbered chapter is from the point of John Green's Will Grayson. He's very socially awkward. He's straight. He's kind of emotionally closed off at the start of the book. He has two rules, which are don't care about things and shut up, which is really harsh, but they kind of relax as he, as he gets in through the book. Meanwhile, David Leverthan writes every even-numbered chapter from the point of view of his Will Grayson. His Will Grayson is... oh... a complex character. He's not exactly emotionally turned off, but there's a lot of hatred and anger in him. He's clinically depressed, he's gay, he's very, very lonely. Anyway, so every other chapter you're alternating between the Will Graysons, eventually they meet and their paths separate again. I don't so much want to talk about the plot of this book, uh, it's not exactly spoilery or non-spoilery, I just wanted to talk more about the feelings and the thoughts I had while reading it. So yeah, at the start of the book, I really associate with John Green's Will Grayson. He's very sort of socially awkward and closed off, and his best friend is called Tiny Cooper and is a brilliant character. In my head, Tiny Cooper is Titus Andromachon from The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Like, that's just how I've always imagined him. And then when I was reading this, I was again, I was trying to work out exactly what he looked like from the description, but I still kept on thinking of Titus Andromachon because he's very large and very gay, and Tiny Cooper from the book is very large and very gay. I don't mean to be homophobic with that, that's kind of just how he's written. Like, he's just really gay. I feel really bad saying that. I don't think I should feel bad for saying that, I kind of do. Part of me is going, you can't just say that someone is very gay, but I, like, he is. I was, about to, <laughs> I was about to say some of my friends are gay, and then I thought, oh no, I can't say that, because that's like a politician saying, well, some of my best friends are black, and it, it just comes across as very distanced. I hope you know what I mean. Please don't hate on me uh, if I come across as homophobic. I don't mean to be. Like, when I say he's very gay, I'm going to quote from the book, but I believe he may be the world's largest person who is really, really gay, or Will's gayest person who is really, really large. He's a fantastic character, like he's just, he's very large in every way. But anyway, I associate a lot with John Green's Will Grayson. Just because during the course of the book, he he starts off being quite, I think, emotionally stunted, but he goes through quite a nice transformation during the book. If you haven't read the book, this might be a bit spoilery for you. It's not hugely much. Because I think with this kind of book, it's not about the story or the plot. It's, it's more about the journey. And that's, that's a line I hate. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. I, oh, I used to hate that phrase. Um, it, it's the only thing that kind of makes sense in this context. John Green's Will Grayson starts to change when he uh, meets a girl and starts to fall in love with her. I think it's his feelings for the girl that kind of open the floodgates and he starts to realise he has feelings about a lot more stuff. While reading the book, it's a very organic change. And he's trying to impress a girl, and um, you know, I'm pretty sure when you're trying to impress someone, you do kind of break out your shell a bit. At the start of the book, I preferred, I think, John Green's writing and his character and his, his chapters. But towards the end of the book, I really start to enjoy David Leverthand's Will Grayson. David Leverthand's Will Grayson 
uh, starts off as just this this angry, angry, angry teenager. Throughout the book, he he bursts from his cocoon, and I think it's because he starts to self actualize and starts to respect himself. He starts to recognise the validity of being nice to other people. I don't know if those were all words that actually had a meaning, really. Anyway, um, what's really nice about this book is that both the two stories complement each other really well. Like, you, you can read them separately, and they'd both be a, an entire story within themselves, but it's nice switching from chapter to chapter. Throughout the book, they go through similar changes, similar times. They're both growing up together and that's really really like together separately both of the authors are really talented the writing is fantastic uh, john green is uh, a typical sort of john green style very relatable very witty very idiosyncratic really david levithan's writing was very interesting because he doesn't use much punctuation and he doesn't use any capital letters i, f- I thought at first this was to distinguish between the two will graysons like you know you've got uppercase will and lowercase will he says at the end of the book though that uh, the, he wrote it lowercase because that's how his will grayson sees himself it was also because he writes on the internet a lot and you don't tend to use punctuation or capitals when you're writing on the internet but his writing style apart from that was just really witty like surprisingly witty and but so i read this book as part of anti-bullying week i knew it featured bullying uh, a bit rereading it i hadn't noticed how much john greensville grayson is mocked for having a gay friend and his friend is, is mocked for being gay as is david leatherfans will grayson so there's a uh, homophobic behavior in there uh, taking the form of bullying there's also uh, cyberbullying, which isn't something i've read much of really i guess there's probably a lot of books that cover it it was a pleasure for me to read this as part of Anti-Bullying Week. Please visit the links below if you're interested. You can still get involved. If you've read this book or you've read David Levithan or John Green uh, separately, please let me know in the comments. If you can suggest a David Levithan book, I I'm, I'm really want to read another one. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.